one thing I've always said is that, you know, we don't need to go get a star. We don't need to go spend $40 million on a star. We don't need to do that. Our stars are here. It's just we've been put in such a bad situation with the coaching staff and their roster construction that they haven't been allowed to flourish. The stars are already here, y'all. Y'all can quote me on that. They're already here. The guys are here. <laughs> We're finally just going to get a chance to see how good they are with a competent team and a competent coach around them. I really think it's going to be a lot of pleasantly surprised Pistons fans going into next season. Our stars are homegrown. I didn't want the panic and overpay star. I didn't either. Yeah, the front office did a good job. When you are a team like Detroit, a franchise like the Pistons, that is not a destination, you have to really use whatever strengths you can to your advantage. You have to use what you can. We don't have, you know, hot weather all year long. We don't have that. We don't have beaches at every turn. It's not a glamorous city. It's a tough city. So you got to use what you can to your advantage because you've only got your guys for a few years and you can extend them. But after that, they're unrestricted. So you have to create reasons for them to want to stay. And one of those reasons that a player will want to stay when it's time for extension or it's time for a new contract is because you believed in them. The draft. Right. That's why the draft is so important. That's why it's so important to do right by your draft picks, because these are going to be homegrown guys. We don't want a situation like OKC, where we got all this talent with Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Serge Ibaka. And we got to choose between Serge and James Harden and we pick wrong. We don't want to be in that situation. You know what I'm saying? That where we got to choose between JD and Asar. We don't want that. You want to make sure that you give these guys a reasons to stay. They did a good job and they they got guys who can help our young stars become superstars potentially let's see the trade line still when tsj is gone for ingram i don't i don't know how to feel about brandon ingram man i'm gonna be honest with y'all I, I like brandon ingram but he hasn't been healthy one thing about tobias harris that we all love is that he plays 70 plus games it's been tough man these last couple years with these injuries it's been hard to not see enough of our guys at full strength. It's been hard seeing a different starting lineup every other night. And where do you put him? If you bring him in, what is that doing to Asar and his growth? You already brought Tobias in. You're going to put Ingram at the four and put Tobias on the bench after you paid him 26 mil? Or are you going to put Tobias at the three and Ingram at the four? And once again, what do you do with Asar and his growth? You know? I really just want to let these young guys play, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I really don't even want Brandon Ingram. I will welcome him and I will support him with open arms and all that. I'm not a saying I like him. I'm just looking at a team construction, man. I'm looking at where we are time wise and I'm looking at how bad the team was last year and how bad the coaching was last year. And I'm not allowing that to put a damper on how good I think these young guys really can be, man. I think we really got something special with these guys. I really do. I really do. And that's why it may seem like I'm just like, man, Deuce don't like any of these trade proposals. He like any of these trades. Nah. But it's just because I don't want anybody getting in the way of these young guys, man. I've seen too many young guys here go somewhere else and be successful. I guarantee you, if we let Jaden Ivey go, if we trade Jaden Ivey, he's going to. In the, the way he's built, he would make sure of it too. But, oh, really? I've seen it happen too many times. We can't do it. I feel like I'm in a Marvel TV show. I'm tired of saying what if over and over again. Man, if this guy was healthy, man. If he was healthy, man. If this didn't happen, man. If we had a coach who cared, man. If we had... I don't want no more of that. I don't want any more. Like, I'm tired of that. I just want to see my team play basketball at a high rate. That's all I want to see. Yeah, I like Ingram's game, but Trajan must know something about it for not. Yeah, I think it's the thing we all know, bro. I think it's just the injuries. Trajan didn't extend Ingram and Nola. Why would he? Good point. He did not. I'm not for it. Trading just to make a trade is not a recipe for success. I'm out on your movie. I, I think sometimes us as Pistons fans, and I'll include myself in this, even though I think I've gotten better with it over the years. Have you guys ever seen that meme where it's this person and he's got this little stick in his hand and he's just poking this doll and he's just like, come on, do something. Come on, do something. I feel like Pistons fans are kind of like when we're losing and when we're not good, and there's a terrible trade proposal that's on the table that's going to set us back five years. Pitton fans are like, come on, man. Come on, Troy. Do something, Troy. Do something, Troy. You can't make a move just to make a move. We're not here to just do something. Like I said before, I understand patience is boring. The process is boring. In the beginning, it's boring. 
because you don't see instant success. But that's not how winners are built. That's not how the Pistons either time were built. It wasn't instant oatmeal where we just had it like that right away. We went from one season not in the playoffs to the very next season like the Phoenix Suns in the finals when they did that. Remember the bubble year when Devin Booker made that shot over Paul George and Kawhi with the buzzer and they didn't even make the playoffs. And the very next season they're in the finals? Yeah, that don't happen too often. And we, we had that coach that uh, did that. So we really see it doesn't happen often, right? Uh, but anyway, yeah, you definitely have to build it slowly, man. You just gotta take your time. You can't you can't just do something. You can't just do something. You gotta do the right thing. And sometimes the right thing is nothing. I think right now, the right thing to do is nothing. Sit back, get your popcorn, watch these young guys play, watch these coaches coaching. That's all we should be doing right now. No huge trades, none of that. I think we're done. I think the Pistons are done. The cap is pretty much spent, except for about seven, eight million, I think. We're done. I don't think we're going to try to do a sign and trade. We're not using that extra cap to facilitate a trade. No, I don't think we're doing any of that. I think we're done. The best thing to do right now is to sit back and just enjoy this team. I'll be okay with a stew trade if we're getting a guy that'll help push us for a chip like when the Celtics trade Smart for Porzingis. I respect that you use Marcus Smart, somebody else who's also gritty and somebody else who also was the heart and soul of that team. I understand what you're saying, Johnny, on that one. You would hate to give a guy like that up, but if you're getting that type of talent, it is what it is, right, at that point. But I don't think that's going to present itself. <laughs> but if it does, I mean, yeah, you know, and y'all know how I feel about Stu. I'm, I'm one of Stu's biggest fans. I love him as a player and a person. I do feel Trajan Langdon's going to do his best for this team or whoever he hires is going to do his best for this team. I do have confidence in that. You have to trade to get Lonzo. Stu and Beasley, something like that. I think Stu's at like 16 and Beasley's at like six that's 22 but i'm not i'm just thinking numbers and i'm definitely not doing it for stew i'm not trading lines up for stew absolutely not i just don't want somebody who's injury prone bro honestly jb too he, it was funny he actually says he's looking for guys who are available tom gore has even said that to his credit he said we had guys in the team who were just on the team we need guys who are getting paid to, to play that's what he said so i'm like it, there's hope for him yet there's hope for him yet we had this dream to the top in the know i got a face yeah. i got no